If you follow any sewing or YouTube channels, you probably know by now that shackets are a big trend this fall. But what is a shacket? It's basically just a jacket and a shirt combined, creating a shacket. The shacket is usually oversized. It's larger than a shirt. It usually has larger buttons than a shirt. A lot of times you'll see patch pockets on the chest and typically, especially in the stores, it'll be in a heavier fabric like a wool. But see, that's the beauty of sewing. You can take this trend and make it your own any way you want. In today's video, I have 10 shacket patterns to share with you, along with some fabric suggestions so you can sew this trend for yourself. I'm Sharon, welcome to my channel where we talk about sewing. 2019 into 2020 is when we really started to hear that shackets were going to be a thing. And now it appears that they really are a thing. For good reason, it is a great layering piece. It's something you can sew and you can add it to your existing wardrobe. It just finishes off your look. It's heavier than a shirt, lighter than a coat. It's a great transitional piece. As I've been looking at shackets in the stores, a lot of them are plaid, a lot of them are wool. Because you sew, you can use any fabric you want to make a shacket. That's the beauty of sewing. If you can't find what you want in the store, make it yourself. When you sew your shacket, you can use almost any woven fabric. Think about what you want that final product to look like and to feel like, how heavy you need it. You can use a wool, flannel, twill, corduroy, denim, canvas. There's just so many options depending on what you want. Got a couple right here to share with you. Your typical plaid. This is a plaid, this is not a flannel, this is a cotton. This is a flannel, this is a plaid flannel. This is a denim, this is an animal print. I think an animal print would be great in a jacket. This is another denim, this is a very subtle print, it actually has feathers on it. Okay, what about this? A faux suede. This, I wish you could feel it. This is so soft. I think that would be a fabulous jacket. What about faux leather? How fun would that be? One other trend that's happening this fall is bright colors. Don't be afraid to use a bright color when you sew a jacket. Here are 10 patterns that you can use to sew your own jacket. The first one is the Style Arc Logan jacket right here. I have sewn this one already. And that comes available in sizes four through 30. That's a 30 inch bust through a 58 and a quarter inch bust. Now this is available printed or PDF. It is an Australian company and it features slightly dropped shoulders, a two piece shirt collar, breast pockets, rounded back yoke, a shaped hemline, and inseam pockets. Now their fabric suggestions for this are boiled wool, denim, corduroy, linen, and flannelette. As I mentioned, this is a linen blend. The Ilford jacket from Friday Pattern Company. This is a unisex pattern and this comes in a PDF or printed version. This comes in sizes extra small to 2X and that's a 33 inch chest to a 46 inch chest. This features drop shoulders and comes with two sleeve options, a placketed sleeve with a cuff or a boxy sleeve in two lengths and pocket templates that you can use to mix and match. Fabric suggestions are woven fabrics and they have a sew along on their YouTube channel and 5% of proceeds from the sale goes to charity. Now I know some people do prefer the big four pattern company and have access to really great sales. So I do have four patterns, one from each brand. The first one is McCall's 8210. This is a Melissa Watson for Palmer plush design. It comes in sizes six through 24. That is a 30 and a half inch to 46 inch bust. It's a button up jacket with drop shoulder, long sleeves, a back yoke, and an inverted pleat. Fabric suggestions are twill, linen, denim, wool blends. In simplicity, it's 9388, and that is a unisex pattern. It comes in sizes extra, extra small to extra, extra large. That is a 28 inch to 52 inch chest. And that's a button front jacket with yoke front patch pockets and side seam pockets, long sleeves, button cuffs with pleats, back yoke with pleat, lined yokes and sleeves. Fabric suggestions are broadcloth, chino, corduroy, cotton blends, lightweight denim, flannel, linen, stretch wovens, tweed, wool types, and sweatshirt fleece. Now in Vogue, there is Vogue 1827. This is also a unisex pattern. Comes in sizes small to XXL. That's a 36 inch to a 52 inch chest. 
This button down shirt has a pointed collar, side hemline slits, chest pockets with flaps, long sleeves with button cuff and plackets, and then it has a short sleeve version also with purchase piping. Fabric suggestions are rayon, rayon blends, and cotton shirting. Now to make this a jacket, I would go up a size to get the oversized look and choose a heavier fabric. There's fabric recommendations are definitely for a shirt. In Butterick, there's 6841. This is also a unisex design, sizes small to 4X, and that is a 36 inch to 56 inch chest. And these shirts have pointed collar, collar and front bands, self-lined yoke, forward shoulder seams, and narrow hem. Fabric suggestions are cotton lawn, gingham, poplin, and gauze. Again, I would go up a size on this to make it a jacket, and I would use a heavier fabric. These recommendations are definitely for a shirt. Moving back into indie patterns, we have the Shoalhaven Shacket Pattern from Muna and Broad. Now this is a PDF and it comes to sizes A, which is a 40 inch bust, up to size M, which is a 64 inch bust. Now they do have a note on their website. If the sizes are too small to include you, they will grade the pattern to your size at no additional cost. I love that. I think that's a fabulous feature. Now the features on this one, it's a low thigh length jacket, which features chest pockets with flaps, a button band, and a deeply curved hem. The pattern is specifically designed for thicker fabrics and the interior is as beautiful as the outside with bound seams and generous spacings. Fabric suggestions are wool coatings, boiled wool, thick cotton moleskin, soft wash denim, canvas, cotton twill, corduroy, or soft shell. I don't know what soft shell is. I'm gonna fluke that one up. Next, we have the Ryan shirt coat from Fiber Mood. This is a PDF pattern and comes in sizes extra small to 3XL. That's a 31 and a half inch bust to a 57 and a half inch bust. This is an oversized over shirt, longer length, button front, front button placket, and collar. Fabric suggestions are wovens from woven jacquard to felt to flannel. The canvas jacket, this is by Wardrobe by Me. This is a PDF pattern, available in sizes zero through 24. That is a 30 inch to 48 and a half inch bust. This is a workwear inspired jacket style with a boxy casual fit, two piece sleeves and top stitching. Fabric suggestions are canvas, denim, corduroy, cotton drill, linen and wool. This also features a sew along on YouTube. The Carter Shacket Shirt Jacket by Trish Newberry. This is a PDF version. I added this one in because this has a hood option also. I think that's pretty fun. Sizes available for this one are XX small to 5XL. I could not find on the website what the equivalent inch measurements are for the chest. And it might only be available when you get the pattern, I'm not sure. Description, it has button up pleated cuff, double breasted pockets with optional flaps, and a center front button up closure, long sleeves, a drop shoulder with yoke and back action pleat. View A is below knee, has a faced stepped curved hemline, side seam pockets, and a button collar. View B is a shorter length and it has a straight hemline and is finished with a three piece unlined hood. The hooded collar can be used on both the long or short jacket. Fabric suggestions are woven, a lighter flannel for year round layering or a heavier winter mid-weight woven for winter warmth. This one also has a sew along available on YouTube. I know in a previous video, I already asked if you were team shacket or not team shacket, and most of you are team shacket, as I am too. Let me know if you've sewn it already or if it's on your to sew list for this fall winter. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you have a blessed day and happy sewing. Fashion or sewing blogs, read. If you watch, okay. Oh, look at the squirrel. I get distracted, you see. La, 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 la. Darn it, that squirrel got me again.